Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on creating T-scores using SPSS. So a T-score is a standardized score often used in counseling assessment, which has a mean of 50 and a standard deviation of 10. So taking a look at this fictitious data I have here in the data view, you can see I have an ID, a duration, 6, 12, and 18 weeks of treatment, gender, male and female, and then three dependent variables, uh, depression level, anxiety level, and substance use level. And these would be raw scores. So you can see they're not on the same scale. Uh, the depression level ranges from in the 30s to the 60s, and the anxiety level ranges from single digits to 100 and the output from the substance use level ranges from 100 to 140. Now of course for all three of these instruments they would have some sort of criteria for interpretation uh, meaning you may know that from this instrument that a score of 100 represents uh, no substance use problems and a score 140 uh, represents uh, severe and then maybe uh, somewhere in the uh, around 120 would be moderate uh, but still you can't really compare these three instruments with each other in this format it's also worth noting for many instruments there is a way to convert directly to t-score as part of the process of scoring the instrument So to convert these to T-score uh, here, we're going to need to first create Z-scores for these three dependent variables. And to do that, we'll go to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, Descriptives, and I'll reset this back to default. So what you want to do is you want to move over uh, depression, anxiety, and substance use into this list box labeled uh, variables and you want to save standardized values as variables. So you're going to create three new variables and these are going to be z-scores. The z-scores have a mean of 0 and a standard deviation of 1. So you can see now I have uh, z depression level, z anxiety level, and z substance use level. So I've transformed these data into standardized scores, z-scores, but I have not yet transformed them into t-scores. Again, z-scores have a mean of 0 and a standard deviation of 1, and t-scores have a mean of 50 and a standard deviation of 10. So to create the t-scores, we're going to go to transform and compute variable. Again, I'll clear this. And I'm going to set the target variable here. We'll say uh, T depression. So this will be the T score for depression. So the first thing I want to do in parentheses is multiply the Z value by 10. Since we know the standard deviation for the Z score is 1 and the standard deviation for the T score is 10. So for z-score depression, I'm going to multiply that by value 10. And now what I want to do is I want to adjust the mean, right? So we know the mean of a z-score is 0, and the mean of a t-score is 50. So I'm just going to add 50. And click OK. And you can see now I've created a t-score for depression. So from this point it's fairly straightforward for the other variables. We'll go to compute variable and I want to call this one t-anxiety I'm going to delete the z-depression level and add in the z-anxiety level so really you see I don't have to even change the other 
values, I can just substitute. Again, it's going to create a new t-score here for anxiety. And then the last transformation uh, I'll call t-substance use. Again, delete the prior value and take the z-score for substance use and put that in. Again, it's multiplied by 10, and then I add 50. And then I have all three variables now converted into t-scores. And t-scores are actually quite useful, and of course z-scores are as well. They're both standardized scores. But t-score is very easy to interpret. Uh, you could see uh, those scores that are near the mean uh, pretty quickly. Uh, this score here, for instance, is close to the mean. This score down here is pretty close to the mean, as is this one. And you can also identify the more extreme scores fairly easily. Uh, for example, uh, 67. or 34, or a little more extreme. The 34, for example, is over one and a half standard deviations below the mean. So this allow, allows you to quickly look at the data and compare the different scores by case and quickly assess, for instance, what dimension, depression, anxiety, or substance use uh, perhaps should be an emphasis of treatment uh, early on uh, for example, looking at this record, you can see depression more than a standard deviation above the mean, whereas anxiety is at the mean, and substance use is below the mean. So in this instance, depending on you know, the agency setting and what type of treatment you're using and what your goals are and what the client's goals are, you may want to emphasize the treatment for the depression more assertively uh, given these results. So having this ability to compare the different instruments is quite useful. I hope you found this video on calculating t-scores in SPSS to be useful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me and I'll be happy to assist you.